Our story starts in beautiful Vintuk, Namibia. We've had our fun, but now it's time to work. Something I never told any of you guys, my one goal for the year of 2018, and you'll hear me say it again and again, my one goal for the year of 2018 was to work harder. That's all that mattered, nothing else did. In the gym, at life, at school, whatever I apply myself to, my only goal was to work harder. Being that this is a fitness channel, and a channel more revolved around my progress and our progress as a team, I thought that this work ethic that I've been able to instill and still want to improve, I could share it with you guys. Training natural versus, uh, you know, training on steroids. Um, in my experience, training while taking a cycle of steroids enables you to train harder, longer, and the pumps you get in the gym are unbelievable. Building a natural free steroid physique. Rich Piana was a loved individual for his personality, his business savvy, but most of all, we all loved him for his personality. His openness in terms of taking steroids and bodybuilding opened the minds of many, including myself. Now, I've never said this, but I love and hate those who are on steroids. Let me explain. I love them for the reason that they show us what we're capable of as human beings pushing your genetic limits, seeing as far as you can come. I hate them because deep in my mind, I know that it's highly unlikely I'm going to reach that level. Now, I've always said, if bodybuilding is your livelihood, you live off this and you love this, then there's absolutely no problem why you shouldn't. But if you're doing it like me, just for the love, there's no reason to put your body at harm. I've always said that steroids is the equivalent to the pill in Limitless. If I could take a pill to memorize every little thing I could learn, I would probably do it. But let's get back onto the topic. My journey as a natural lifter is four years in the making and as time passes and more people convert to the other side, my physique looks more and more natural. But in my own eyes, as I am the beholder and the beauty in my own eyes, I love the way I look. Seeing the progress in myself has been extraordinary. And those who can tell a natural physique from those on the gear can appreciate it. So my advice to anyone who is starting the journey or who's going to continue this journey with me is be patient. Package from Legend London. I'm actually about to go and shoot for them. Let me quickly show you guys what I got. Like for right now, I am rocking their jeans. You guys have seen me wear these jeans before, but they got a lot of lifestyle stuff. Changed up their logo. So I got the Legend London shirt in black. Signature shirt and their hoodie in white. Their tracksuit pants. Another Legend London shirt in, what color is that? Like port or, mar what color is that, baby? The red t-shirt in size M. Everything for Legend London is gonna be linked in the description, first one. If there's one thing about me that I do know, and that has been my worst attribute as a person, is that I'm impatient. And over my years of lifting, I've grown to appreciate the process and learn the value of patience. So we bought my boy Anthony Nose. He is the shooter for today. I'm gonna link his Instagram in the description. You'll also see it right here 
one of the best photographers in Namibia. In the middle of 2017, I watched a video about two boys who were mediocre at basketball. However, they were the hardest workers out there. They're the hardest workers that this coach knew. And he applied the concept of 10,000 hours, 10,000 hours to becoming an expert, developing from an amateur to an expert, going from a student to a master. And the series was basically implementing hard work with intelligence. Now don't get it twisted, it doesn't mean if you spend 10,000 hours at a craft that you're perfected because there needs to be passion to be able to spend 10,000 hours perfecting your craft. And I said that was my goal for 2018. My goal for 2018 was to work harder. Simple as that. Work hard in the gym and that's what we did today. We woke up early, we went to the gym and we worked our asses off. And this is the concept for the rest of this series, 10,000 hours. And now we're going to also do the same and applying the same idea in terms of our diet. So you saw us training this morning and let's go and get something to eat. Ooh, just finished with the legend. Ah! Just finished with the Legend London shoot, which went absolutely well. My boy Anthony knows, link in the description, you'll see right here, who was the photographer for that shoot. Like I said, we're just getting the grind done. Monster, because waking up early has been a bit harder, but I'm also gonna try and get myself disciplined to sleeping earlier before the school semester starts. And yeah, I'll catch you guys right after that. So we are packing our bags and we're about to leave. I'm almost done, but I got a new package from Gymshark. I'm gonna show you guys what's inside. Here we have the full size zipped hoodie. We have the freestyle ion stringer in dive blue. Pull out quarter zip hoodie in forest green. The fust pullover in charcoal. And then we have the ombre t-shirt in dive blue. Guys, I would open all of these, but as you guys can see, I'm packing my bags because I'm pressed for time, but in the next episode, I will definitely show you everything that is here. My bags are packed and we're ready to go. I need to tell you guys where I'm going. We're leaving to Moscow for a few days and then we're straight off to Manchester to shoot with the My Protein team, which I'm excited for. So I'm off to the gym. I'm gonna do a full body workout so that I cover all the muscle groups because I know tomorrow I won't get any workouts in. So I'm gonna do that now and then get ready to pack. I'm not gonna take the camera with, but I'm excited for the shoot. But I'm gonna leave you guys here and then I'm gonna pick you up and then get on the way to the airport. And we're back from the gym, I'm showered. So the workout that I did was more of a depletion workout. So it was very high rep from the range of 10 to 20 reps. And then working my entire upper body. I didn't think of doing my legs because I don't want to cramp on the plane. To have a full Nando's. I've saved for this, this is going to be a high protein meal and also a moderate fat. I don't see a lot of sauce there so I can't, I'm accounting the fat from the skin. But this still does fit my macros and well it's my last day here. So I'm going to eat this up and then get packing. Any of you don't know this, but I've cut my holiday short. I'm leaving early. It pains my mom and my dad and my sister that I'm leaving, but I made the conscious decision that I needed to be in my own space to really put this 10,000 hour theory to work. I'm gonna start early. I'm gonna focus. So tomorrow it's the same thing. We're waking up early and we're working hard. I hope you guys are excited for the episode because this is just the beginning. We're gonna end the episode there. I hope you guys enjoyed it. On our way to Moscow, so I'll probably catch you guys there. If you did enjoy it, guys, first episode, smash it with a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, you can subscribe around this area. And if you haven't seen the last video, this is the last video right here, but I'll see you guys in the next one.